guys, I have to stop because it really aches now. This gate is open at CF stairs. Morning, morning. So having breakfast here. Checking the Hi. checking the forecast. It's not going to rain. We got 15 kilometers to go to Bares, where we will sleep and stay all day. Now we're going to have some coffee. As always, Italians abroad. 13 degrees. Uh, you can't see it there. Yeah? Get in the bag, rucksack, and we start walking. Still limping a little bit on my right leg. And we're going on the hill today. Ready to go. I put on some tights. Here we go. Look at, look at me. I look like Peter Pan. But it's really fashionable in London nowadays, especially if you go to the gym with boys. Woo! Ah, sexy stuff. So we are going. We're actually the last ones this morning for some reason because we take so long for breakfast. Claudio and Norge getting ready. Right, we, we are following the concha, which is the shell. So the scallop shell, that's called concha. And I'm always the last one. If you take videos, be ready to be the last one and, and run to catch them up again. Ay, ay, ay. So we left La Concha behind, we got the yellow arrow again. There it is, our little friend. Leg is not good. Going uphill, that when it hurts the most. And today we're going quite <laughs> upwards. And once again, we leave the urban life behind to get into the countryside. You alright? Il problema è che ti porti dietro, lo lasci a, al cammino, ti liberi, no? The reason why you put the stone on the, basically over the shell is because before, before the pilgrimage you, you carry a lot of problems, so the stone represent your problems and you leave it, you leave them behind, so everyone just put stuff there and they just pile up, so that's a pile of problems. <laughs> just thinking now, walking like in the middle ages it's tough to do this now think about in the middle ages with not decathlon shoes 110 quid of shoes and all the gear we have the light gear the really the quick dry uh, t-shirts so they used to have sandals made of leather probably carrying bags and rucksack made of only god knows what with diseases you know just a bit of water and food not GPS, not navigator. It's insane. And Gorge was saying, he was just thinking, maybe they might might have traveled in the night to follow the stars. So uh, the Milk Way to Santiago could be an option. to stop because it really aches now. Maybe tomorrow I need to get a bus and because I can't do 24 kilometers. So here we go. Pomade. That's not nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's a... <laughs> <laughs> so as Claudio was saying, this is part of the Camino. It's all experience, no? Tutta esperienza. So be ready for war. Look. ¿Cómo se llama en español? Tan Bosco. Energy. 
I should put my leg here. Uh, so nice. Camino or Bona? So we have a choice here. Close to here, 500 meters, we can find an old monastery, the abandoned monastery. It's 500 meters. That's right. And other 500 meters. 500 is nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it, peregrinos. Monastero de Santa Maria. At the moment, in this tree pueblo, there are places for silence and places for... Here's an abandoned monastery. Uh, one hour from Boris. Well, this is this gate is open. Let's, let's see upstairs. That was cool. Sorry guys, I couldn't I couldn't resist my curiosity. So that's what we do with free run. I guess it's not a good thing, it's a good sample, I know. But exploring is great. Wow. Love it. I'm like a kid. The monastery was funny, 780. And the like La Iglesia, which is the church in the 13th century. Okay, that's clear. Woo. So we also found out the origin of the name Obona. I show you here. So Obona, right? And Obona, Aubona, Agua Buena. So it, it's literally um, good water, because apparently the water around here is really, really good. And they used to come from Oviedo to take the water and, and bring it back as well. I wanted to say that. It's cool how you create your own fellowship from day one. So, because people start at the same time, so you get your fellowship and then you carry on for the other days, unless you want to do solo or you want to delay or you want to go faster, you know. But it's nice to, to build the group and keep going with them, get some energy. Campiello, that's what we're gonna eat now. Uh, guys, we have a little problem here. One of the girls that was with us got hit by a car. So I hope she's fine there. Yeah, yo guys, I gotta show you my little room tonight. So we got like a private little house, luckily, because the alberga was full. So we've been given this for five euros more, which is fine, I've got my own bed. It's been a weird day, um, especially for the accident that happened. And now we just read another pilgrim was found dead uh, along the road. So it's kind of scary, actually. Some, some parts of the route are on, on the road with a lot of cars and trucks. Day is over, day number four. I'm gonna spend two days relaxing now, so I'm gonna skip two stops, which is a shame because tomorrow apparently is the most beautiful 
stop. Um, but yeah, I can't really walk very well, so I better rest if I want to get to Santiago at the end. And um, really kindly, one of the girls we met, she has a car because she lives nearby, so she, she would pick me up and take me to the next stops, uh, which is fine. And yeah, tomorrow we do some easy video around here. And uh, God bless, good night. In the next episode, I'm teaching her bad words in Italian. That shot with the horses was great. Follow the adventures of my Camino de Santiago on YouTube and Mamo Air. Subscribe now for the video notifications.